Hi everyone. Are you as excited as I am to finish this beautiful tray? I must apologize uh, for making this into three different parts. As I was going through parts one and two and editing, I realized I talked your ears off. Um, it just took too long and so I cut it in three segments and um, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But um, this was a bit complex, but I think it's going to be lovely, no matter what. So, first of all, let me show you. Um, I was lucky enough to get some Let's Resin Ocean Life stickers. And there's quite an assortment in here. And I'm sure you've seen other resin artists uh, use them. But... Uh, I was very excited to get these. And all I'm gonna use from these are four little, oh, I just popped an otter out. Oh, well. um, all I'm gonna use is four little pieces of seaweed, okay? First thing I'm gonna do, so I have my glove off so I can manage this a little bit. I am going to I was gonna put one in each corner. I realized that one is larger than the other three. But I don't guess that makes any mind. We're gonna use them all. So what I wanna do is just pull this off. They're, they're cut, ready to go. Whoops. And I don't know if you can see this corner. I'm probably as close, yes you can, okay. I am just gonna raise this up a little bit from the corner and stick that right there. I have a bumpy piece of resin sticking up, but that's okay, that's okay. It'll give it a little more dimension as long as it is down. And then the, uh, let's see. Well, this one's a little fuller, so we'll put this one across. I need to stand. I'm going to put this possibly right about here. Let's get a little something, something. And the other two. Look at that. Shells, coral. Look at the little oh, seal. Oh my gosh, rays. Anyway, I am going to use the green. Oh, those are so pretty. And I'm just going to have this somewhat dangle. I want to stay about the same distance as I can. Okay. Now, these skins weren't covered up all the way. So, um, there's a few bumps and get this one on and we'll put this kitty corner here like maybe there okay that is done that aside now um i had some i had some scratches here well, I made the scratches because there was some uh, two pieces of hair right here, but that will be covered when I um, pour the resin on top. Now, I'm going to try something I haven't seen done, but you know I'm a newbie, so let me move this aside for just a second. I had mixed up 10 ounces of my amazing clear cast. And I should probably put this in a shallower bowl and get my glove on. But I'm going to put a little resin in this cup right here. Because I'm going to do some dipping. And I guess this should probably be enough right there. I am going to add... I'm going to add some gold leaf to this. 
Now, I don't believe this is real gold leaf. I don't know. I've had it for some time. Um, it came in a kit. But I have a sheet right here. And I think we're just going to... Oh, I don't know if I should do the whole sheet. Here we go. Oh, really? Tear it. No, oh, we're just doing it. We're just putting the whole sheet in there. One almost full sheet of gold leaf. All right. Put this away. And get a stick. And let's get my glove on. And we'll stir. Oop. <laughs> they last a while, but you know, sometimes I have one right here in the drawer. I mean, I can use these for several pours, if you can tell. New, used. All right, let's just break this up. Get that one in here. Break this up in that resin. And, oh, looky, looky. Wipe this off. Get to going. And I'll show you what we're doing. Now I thought about stone and I thought about sand and I thought about, uh, you know, glass shards and, I th and shells. And I thought, no, we're just going to make it simple. Simple for me anyway, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my shells in the corner, but I'm gonna dip them in a little gold leaf. Now I picked out uh, small shells that had, that were mainly white. And I'm just gonna just give them a little accent of gold. I was afraid if I, you know, just poured it over that um, it would just end up everywhere. This way, maybe it'll just stick to the shells and they'll already have a glossy finish. That, so let's go around and get some of these bigger pieces like that. Just give it a little bit of gold. Probably more than I need. I'm going to go over here. I'll try to do all corners at the same time. And let's find another. Oh, let's see. Let's see. It's a pretty show. This is another one. This is just a flat piece. Look at that. Which side? Which side? That side? That was my, that's what I wanted. Now I'm going to take more of a regular size, regular shell like this. And we'll lay that in here. Maybe we can have that one. Like so, and see we have the greenery coming out. Now another regular shell. We'll go down to here. I think you can see that corner, can't you? I'm hoping you can. Alright. Put that there. I think I saw this one. It's a Look at how tiny, and they're all together, almost petrified. But I like that. I think I really like that. All right, now I had some of, let's see, these. I love these, I love these. We're just gonna do a little dip. Probably get risen on the inside in the hole of the hole. 
Might avoid bubbles coming out later. Stick that one down there. Now I had two of those, I think, about this size. Put this one up here. Oh, look at that. Great. Like so. All right. One, two. Here was one. I'm trying to keep the smaller of the four sections on top. Oh, I think that's going to work because I'm going to trim the edge with my gold um, ink pen. And, you know, we have so much gold in the um, seahorse that we needed something to accent it. Well, this one's pretty slippery. It might just slide right out. Okay, over here. I'm three for three right now, aren't I? Okay. Which of that one should maybe go over here? Oh, I'm liking this. I am liking this. Okay, three, three, and three. And then I had some of these. And we're going to try to set those in here. Like this. Isn't that nice? I know they would um, stick better if I had uh, let the resin set a while, but I'm really not wanting to do that. That scares me. I could have a flash cure. Oh, look at this one. That would be pretty. I'm just going to stick that here. Just get a little group. Okay, what am I missing? There's... Oh, I have this one too. Put you over here. My like yay. Yay. See, I don't, they don't need to all have gold completely all over them. Just sparingly. That's a nice one too. Look at that. Whoop. Lost it. Lost it. There we go. Should be doing this. You can see me. And we'll put this one here, maybe. Now, let's get some of these. Yeah, just like so. Put that in there. Just a little corner, just a little in the corners, and so fill this corner up like that. And that one has a hole. Let's say those for jewelry, they have holes in them. Probably make that task easier. Oh, here's a pearly shell. This looks like a snail shell. Whoop. I think you would look good right there. Don't want to cover all that greenery up. All right, um, that corner needs something like this. Turn you over. I thought about painting these gold or taking a paintbrush, and I, you could do that also. Just take the, pra the paintbrush and, you know, doctor them up a little bit um, around the edges or the whole thing's gold. I'm going to make a little pile here with you. Oh, that covers. Well, that's okay. Like that. Now, let's see. you right here I think as far as the size of the corners 
That might be good. Oh gosh, we've got these too. We've got these. With them being rounded, the, the gold leaf will tend to just slide off. But that makes no mind, actually, I don't think. Now, let me stand a minute and see. I think the groups look good. So now we just need to, let's fill in the um, little gaps with small ones. Come here, you. Come here, you. Look how tiny on my finger that is. Let's see, we've got a gap there. And look at this one. Oh my gosh, it's smaller than my pinky fingernail. Just beautiful. Oh, I want to get that out. Not to travel in there. Just so cute. Look at this one. Put a little one there. I think that corner's good. Um, I think one of these in this corner. I should have let it set a little more, but I'm so afraid of a flash cure. At this point, let's get some small ones in here. Come on. Go where I want you. Well, that's okay if you're upside down. Itty bitties. That's what I call my kitten. Itty bitty sometimes. Her name's Lily. Whoop, lost that one. So, please let me know know your thoughts on this project and like I said I, I know it took a while it really did that's probably good this area and uh, good 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 maybe a tiny one here that and that corner looks good. I think they're pretty cohesive. Said something needs there. Oh, here's another tiny one. Gosh, they're so little. Get back in there. I like it. I like it, like it. How are we doing? That one's different. That's a kind of an odd shaped. Maybe we need something. Well, we'll just do it. We'll just put something right there. Okay. This one looks pretty full, except uh, across the front. A couple little ones in there. We can call it good. too carried away with myself. Get out. I had a thought and then it just went away. Okay. I think we are leaving those. But then again, this one needs something, right? There. All right. Good. Wipe this off. And let's get, boy, look at the bubbles just disappeared there. Initially, I'm just going to pour a little right here and we'll get a little seahorse in there. All right, 
I'm going to give this a little air. I thought about adding white too, but nope. Nope. Get this. I knew I forgot something. I was going to put these glass pieces in. Like one there. Let's just do it. That might sop up some of that resin or keep it from going where I don't want it to go. What do you think? Oh, whoop, whoop. There we go. I should have dipped them. That's all right. Okay, what else was I thinking? A pearl. This is just a pearl bead. And we're going to stick that on there. Might have to add a little resin to secure it. We'll go there. All oceans need a pearl, don't they? And I had one more. Where'd she go? Oh, over here. All right. There. Just like that. Okay. Now I feel better. Let's get this beautiful seahorse. Now. Okay, I cut it around as close as I could because, you know, there were glitter pieces outside the edges, so I went ahead and just trimmed her as best I could and I try to shimmy, shimmy her in. You want to have about the same distance apart there. What do you think? I know she's upside down. Let me fix that for you. Look at that. Oh. And my board is somewhat level. I might slide a stick under this side for a moment, just to be sure. Okay. Look at that. All right, she is in. All right, now, like I said, we're gonna go approximate same distance from the top of her hair to this part of her tail. And then width-wise, we're gonna go from the farthest out, which means this needs to go in this way a little bit. Just eyeballing that. Oh, yes, she's straight. Make sure she's straight. Oh God, I love it. Does it look too busy? <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's beautiful. It is beautiful, I think it should go this way. Well, we're gonna counter center that. Watch this. I need my glove off or back to the tweezers. Remember this cup of uh, leftover resin pieces. Well, I had blue bubbles, clear bubbles, and green bubbles, and the blue wouldn't show up very well, and the um, white or the clear would not show up very well, and I wish I had some flat back pearls, but I don't, so we are going to have, oh, I need a little more resin right there. That's why I wanted her backed up a little forgot about those bubbles for a second. Okay, I'm just going to put a little more resin right in this area here. We're going to set in some bubbles. Like here. And here, whoops. You know, I could have used a hole punch or something to make bubbles, but when you've got these, oh, Billy, come on, scoot, flip it. I think this is so damn cute. Whoop. Oh, come on, you. Okay. 
bigger one should go down there. A couple coming up. How does that look to everyone? Okay, now the distance between this bubble and this looks good. All right. I don't think I had anything else I wanted to go in there. But I'm going to drizzle just a little on that pearl. And let's see the glass here. Well, I don't want the whole of the pearl showing. We need to move it. Okay. Gosh. Love, love, love this. Oh, I got to thinking, quoting Sherry Moulton, her bling bling Sundays. Yes, that's what she calls it, her bling bling. All right. I imagine if some of this gold moves, let's just push it back up there. We should be all right. Stay in that vicinity. Don't cover up the green. Might not see all of that, but I guess that's okay. But I do need to move that pearl. It wants to show the whole. Okay. Gosh, I love it. here there I think we're done we're just gonna pour whoa I almost dropped oh my god I thought that was the edge of the table almost lost the whole darn thing all right little miss seahorse here you go So thank you for watching everyone. This is the last part. Once this sets, I will show you after I cover up the edges with the gold. And I am going to use some UV resin and I will uh, put a hanging mount on the back. And she will be done. So I will say happy July, happy 4th of July. Um, I apologize for not having a 4th of July project for you. I just got so carried away with this one. All right. Thank you for watching everybody. Please hit the like, ring the bell, and the subscribe button. I appreciate you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Have a great day. Hi, everyone. She's finished. I have her sitting outside on my patio. Um, I couldn't get a good, light, a good lighting in the house. And then out in the sun, it's too bright. But uh, I think as we go along, you can see. I hope you don't see my pretty face in there. But um, anyway... That's how she turned out. Shells turned out really nice in the corners. You know, gosh, I think it's beautiful. Oh, and I did do the gold edging. The edging is done in gold. And I was able to put a plant, plant hanger, a wall hanger on the back. I just used a UV resin and put a couple of little, uh, diamond studs, so diamond studs on there so you didn't see the holes. But, uh, yeah. I think she's lovely. Oh, that looks so pretty in the little girl's room, eh? I'm thinking, but I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it took so long, but there it is. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye.